Hey, welcome to our channel. I'm Martina, MS Office Trainer, and today we're going to show you some advanced animation. For example, how to create this animated bar or the wave effect animation. And at the end, I will show you a little bit inside of our intro. Okay, can't wait to show you how it was done. We will start with bar animation. To make sure that everything will be perfectly aligned, I will turn on my guides. Honestly, I love working with guides. So to start, let's create a big rectangle from one side of the slide to another. Then on top of it, create a text box. Just click and drag. Make sure it's not part of the rectangle, that it's like another shape. I'll type bar animation just as an example. Change it to 100 and I will also make them uppercase, then center aligned. Select first the text and the shape and align to the center. With those two selected shapes, let's go to the Format tab, then Merge Shapes and click Combine. If you want to learn more about this tool, please watch our other videos. Next step, let's create a bar. I will draw a rectangle from left vertical guide to the right one. I want to make sure that the shape covers the text completely. I like the fill color, but I don't want the outline. Let's change it to no outline. Now hold shift and move the bar outside of the slide. The beginning of it should be where the right guide is. Next, right click on it and send to back. So this shape will be behind our text. Now we need to create the one that will be on top of it. Hold Shift and Control and click and drag to create a copy. Change the width to 0.4 and align it to the middle of this guide. I told you that guides will help a lot. Time to apply some animations. First, select the small shape and in the Animation tab from the drop down list, select Lines Motion Path. Looks cool, but it's going in the wrong direction. So let's change it to the left. Now click and drag the red dot, the endpoint of the animation, to the left guideline. So our small bar moves to the left, and now we want it to also go back. Click on the shape, and in the animation tab, click Add Animation. And again, we will apply the same effect lines. Change the direction this time to the right. Move first the green dot, starting point of the animation, to the middle of the left guide, and the red dot to the right. Now I will show you the best way to copy paste those animations to another shape. Select small bar and in animation tab, click on animation painter and click on the big shape. As you can see, PowerPoint just applied all animations from first object to the second selected one. Let's open the animation pane to reorder those animations and change something. Move the second one, step down, and change second and fourth animation to start with previous. Last step, we need to change the fill color of this shape to match the background. I will use the eyedropper. Done, let's test it out. Click once, in another one. Great! Now it's time for wave animation. First step is the same. Let's create a rectangle. Make sure it covers the whole slide. Then on top of it, I'm going to create a text box. I'll type wave animation. Select the box and change the font size to 100. Now select only word wave and I'm going to change the font type to Arfmujiji, something like that. Better just check in the description below. Looks nice, but I'm going to make it bigger. So let's change the font size to, let's say 280. Then select the box and the center align the text. Bring it up so it will be in the middle of our slide. Select the text, then the box and go to format tab merge shapes and combine we create our mask now it's time for wave create a rectangle perfect then change the color of it to blue and no outline to create a wave 
we need circles. Let's create one on top of our rectangle, change the width of it to 1.1 and select it, press Ctrl D 10 times so we will have 11 copies in total. Then take one circle, place it on the right side of, this, of the box, select all of them and in the Align button select Align Top and then distribute horizontally. Now it's time to use our merge shape tool again. Select the box, then hold shift and select all circles. And from the drop down list, select last, subtract. Great, to get even better effect, we need to create a copy of this. So hold control and click and drag to create a copy of our wave and then change the color of it to lighter blue. I want to place them on the bottom of our slide. So I selected both and dragged it down. Then select both, but the order is important. First the dark blue, then the lighter blue. Now go to the animation tab. And from the drop down list, select more motion paths. And here we have to find decaying wave. It doesn't look great yet, but don't worry. Let's rotate it 90 degrees to the left, so then the wave will go up. I will move it on top of our original shapes. Make sure the bottom matches. Nice. Then stretch it up so the wave will cover our text completely. And we can also make it wider, so then the movement will look more smooth. Nice. Let's look into our animation pane. The first animation starts on click and the second with previous. Let's change the delay of it to 0.25. And the preview looks good, it's a little bit too fast. Let's select both of them and change the duration to 6 seconds. Let's check out the preview. Okay. Now let's select both shapes and right click to send them back. The last step is to change the color of this shape to match the background. I will use eyedropper again. Let's select it and click on the dark part. Nice, let's check it out. I will click once and then the animation would start. Looks great. Let me show you some other wave I created. This time I added some gradient to those shapes and at the end I made those bubbles. You can play with it and add any shapes to make it even more interesting. As I promised, now we're gonna see some extras about how the intro was done. First we have a text coming out from the bar and then we have a shape that is uncovering the text. Let's see how it was made. Let me open an animation pane so you can have a better view. And also, I will show you our selection pane. As in this example, the order of objects, so how we're going to place them on layers is very important. The animation on the left is actually a small square that is coming from the left. And then from underneath of this shape that is in the color of the background, comes out a longer bar. After that, a text is sliding out again from beneath a shape. In the selection pane, everything is well ordered. The second animation is made in a similar way. First, the rectangle is coming up and then it's moving to the right. So actually, it's going outside of our slide area. And in the same moment, the text is sliding into our slide. So as you can see, with some motion paths, correct timing and the correct layering, we can get a really nice effect. If you have any questions or ideas that you would like us to present, please leave the comment below. Check out also our other videos. Thank you so much for watching and if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe.